Is it nice to be back, Lee? Wonderful. I love it. I just can't get enough of being down here by the water. It's my favourite place. Come down to the Prada Nauta car park and I had this image in my head like in England there'd be a gift shop and a cafe and some facilities and things like that and all there is is one private property and that's all. Sand dunes and beach. Wonderful. Since we came down here a couple of months ago, there's been some triple XL days with some like 50 foot plus waves and some all the top surfers down here surfing. We've missed that, but hopefully, because we're here for another month or two, we will get to see something special. And today, what's the, what are the waves like? It looks pretty, pretty <laughs> flat at the moment. Yeah, a couple of foot high at the most. If vertigo is absolutely and totally kicking in, because we're on that very, very sh sharp edge, but nothing below us, apart from... Yeah. <laughs> I'm really scared. Can you tell? Oh, that like goes straight down. And this is the spot where the legend was born. Beautiful Nazare. Beautiful Nazare. Here to catch the sunset. So what did you think of the sunset, Mandy? <laughs> I'm seriously not a fan of sunset. They're okay. When they're, when they're good, they're magnificent. All right, tonight wasn't perfect. Yeah, there's a big cloud there and the sun disappeared behind it and that was pretty much it. But can't win them all, can you? No. This is it. Reality, not glamour. Yes, and the setting, as Lee said earlier, is freaking magnificent. So, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Look at this. Nazare. Pride or not. doing some maneuvering to get out <laughs> get of the shop. <laughs> so I'm super excited because we've been looking at this Brazilian place for quite a while now called Churrascaria, Brazil. Menu outside. Wow, it looks ever so good. And the menu around the side looks even better. So during the week, Fato do Dia, plus three accompaniments and a drink and a coffee for eight euros. It sounds great. Those are the daily grills. Eight. Those include accompaniments and a bebida in a cafe. We've both ordered the mixed grill because it's a Brazilian churrasco area, so what else? Uh, and for the starter, they've brought us bread, some olives, and a nice jug of red wine. Yes. Smells delicious. <laughs> Good nose. <laughs> nice, full body. I like it. Yeah, okay. perfect. With me. Brilliant, and so yeah, it's 50 CL to share between the two of us, and of course we can always order another one if we want. It is lunch <laughs> We have to have exactly the same amount, and Lee's done. I think I've got like two drops more. <laughs> a bit of a mix up, we thought we were getting two mixed grills, but we got a cozido portuguese because we asked about that, and I think it's like boiled meats, like lots of pork in there, and oh, some blood sausage, <laughs> yeah. It's a, a nice mixture with some cabbage and it looks like it's a healthy version. It's like white beans, yeah. okay. Because um, we thought we were going to get two of these. Look at that. It's um, churrasco misto. So it's a sausage and some type of pork and another type of pork or beef and chips and rice and salad. It's probably actually quite good that we're sharing. Very hearty portions, uh, really good yeah. value for money. Definitely. Oh, actually, I forgot. She brought these as well, some beans. They show up, beans. And we asked for spicy sauce, and she brought us a tub of that. And she said, muy tall picante, so she's yeah. <laughs> The taste test for uh, me. Some of like, you know, identified things. I don't know if it's fat or if it's some sort of uh, <laughs> intestine. <laughs> Salty and tasty. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> I've just discovered something here. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is. No, it, well, I don't know. I kind of think it looks like. I don't think it's got a bone in it, put it that way. It has or hasn't? It hasn't. It's nice, very salty. <laughs> and there's manioc in there as well. It's very Brazilian. I like it. Lovely. Well, that is cool. Yes, Portuguese. Cocida Portuguesa. I've gone and divided my half and Lee's half. 
and even then I'll probably still leave some for him. But it's delicious, really flavoursome. This is such a great find. It's going to be one of those lunches where you need a little sleep afterwards, I think. <laughs> this meal didn't include a dessert, but they gave us one anyway because they're really kind and they said you've got to have this on the house. So we have got a um, bolo brasileiro de miel, which is a Brazilian honey uh, cake. It's absolutely delicious, really, really nice of them to give it to us. Not too sweet as well, just goes very well with the bica. So great way to finish the meal. So that was the Churrasca here via Brazil, a couple of blocks up from the beach, one block up from the Freguesia. Best value in Nazaré for lunch, without a doubt. So we're walking up the stairs from Nazaré de Sitio, and here are the lovely wild cats. Well, not really wild cats, but outdoor cats. Oh, so beautiful. Oops, is there gonna be a scrap? No. Oh, look at that, they're showing their disdain for me. So this is a bit of a walk up and we've had such a big meal today. The Brazilian lunch was enormous. It's like two hours later and we're still digesting it. So we've had a nice slow walk back, stopping at all the benches we've come across. We've been up and down these stairs from Nazaré to Sitio dozens of times and we never get tired of the beautiful scenery. And thankfully there's benches along the way so we can sit down and admire it. So nice. Probably spend a bit too much time sitting down <laughs> admiring it. We were lucky enough to be house sitting in Nazare for the 2022 WSL Toe Surfing Challenge. So we went down the day before to check it out. Just seeing Rodrigo Hosh's car. There's some big surf names down here and most importantly there's some epic waves. They are bombing in. 50 feet expected tomorrow. This is going to be the setting for the event, Preda Norte. So we've actually come down to the beach because I don't know if you can see how misty it is. We went up to the lighthouse yesterday afternoon and we could see the sea spray or something like that because there's no wind there's just so much sea mist in the air so the lighthouse is up that away yeah there's a bit of mist up there trying to see it it's kind of safety security guys down yeah. on the beach here but here um, you get the enormity of the waves the cliff is probably not the best place to be right now because of the visibility is so low so a lot of people have come down they're hanging around by the safety dudes that bit's fenced off Mandy's here with the people what are you thinking so far, Mandy? Oh, I think it's brilliant. I mean, it's a bummer, it's so misty, but it's really exciting being down on the beach. I love it. Yeah, yeah. If anyone gets washed up down here, we're the first ones to see them. Not that we want anyone to be washed up, of course. No, of course. That's Andrew Cotton down there in the brown. And he just wiped out and they just got wiped off the jet skis. It's pretty horrendous down there. He's going back in the water. I'm trying to pick him up. There's his teammate, the tow partner. Come on Andy, this is jet skis coming backwards and forwards, they've been wiped out once, the safety guys have stood there with him. Just to get him back in the water is a huge effort. Yeah, I'm glad we're not up on the cliff, all the action is happening right down here. Yeah, Cody's back on, back out into the waves, go on my son, whoa. This is the start of a very long day. They're going to be out there for six or seven hours battling those waves. Respect. End of a good day. Waves weren't 100 foot, but still pretty good for Nazare standards. It's all over for another event. These are the teams of the day. Having a bag in lunch on the Nazare waterfront today. We got a tin of sardines from Mini Presso for 79 cents. Lovely fresh rolls that are 
boiling hot straight out of the bakery there for 15 cents each. Yeah, they're on special. Yeah, and we've got some olives that we bought in the market for three euros a kilo, big bag of them, a nice selection. So we've just got a wonderful healthy meal and Nazarite sardines on the waterfront. Like what else should you be eating? And look at this for a view and a backdrop. Nice. It's the Saturday before Shrove Tuesday and it's Carnival Night, isn't Yay, it? Yeah, in Nazareth, it's a massive thing. Apparently it's the biggest carnival in Portugal, we've been told. We're expecting to see people in costumes and things like that. Should yeah, be exciting. Should be brilliant. Let's go and have a look. Is it nice up there? Nice in the sun? Yes. We're getting the set lunch here, which is 10 euros. And for that, we're getting the couvert, which is bread, olives, and a bit of cheese. We think it's cheese, it might be butter. <laughs> we have to try it. Healthy portion of wine. Obrigada. I've just tried one of the olives. I'm aware it was incredible. It's like, can you see the garlic? <laughs> the fresh garlic on there? A lot of garlic. Oh, lovely. Yeah, like the French influence. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm going to try the. Oh, wow. Is it butter or cheese? Oh, I don't know. It I looks think like it. cheese. Like a sayer. Mm. Yeah, it's really lovely. Quite salty, very firm. It's a great starter. This place is well known because the owners are Portuguese who lived in France for a very long time and have come back and set up a French style Portuguese restaurant so it's got an influence from France. Now down here I have got the Porco Aletejano which is beautiful with pork and potato and olives, oysters, mussels, not quite sure. <laughs> Looks delicious yeah. and Mandy has gone for the bevette, that's a French word isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, steak, rice, rice and the Just chips on the side. Chips. Very good spread for 10 euros. Every now and again you get a chunk of garlic this size. <laughs> it's going to be good for me, isn't it? <laughs> so we've had our meal. We're now on to the coffee. Um, a review. Well, I, would, I really missed the fact that there was, like, there was no salad. You know what I mean? I had steak, chips and rice. There's nothing green on my plate. I would have liked like a tiny bit of lettuce and half a tomato. You know, a bit of garnish, something like healthy. Lee really enjoyed his dish. He said it was so filling and it was it was amazing. Um, for me, I personally wouldn't come back. I thought of 10 euros for what we got. We've, you know, we've had a lot better elsewhere. I know it's a good price for Nazare, but it, I don't know, didn't quite rock my boat. But anyway, I'm just gonna check with Lee. Enjoy my coffee. Incredibly full, it was so filling, especially I, I recommend the Porco Aletegiano. If you're going to come here, have that, you won't be disappointed. Is Deja helping you work, Lee? I'm trying to get some work done, but I can't reach my hard drive now, so I'm going to need you to pass it to me. Okay. She ain't moving. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not only a fan of white chocolate, but oh my word, these are two of my favourite chocolates ever. The white chocolate spiced biscuit and almond and this milk chocolate salted caramel crisp i'm so happy so we're in the nazare library he's doing some video editing down by the window
It's another day in Mazada, and yeah, we've come back to the Brazilian place, only because it's such amazing value. This time, yeah, I've gone for the white wine again. And Lee, because he's packing, I'm keeping go, my head on. Yeah, yeah to Praia del Rey. <laughs> he's gone for the, what is it? Guarana. Antarctica. Very Brazilian, <laughs> yes. Hey, Guarana, Brazilian champagne. This is the fizzy, sweet cherry drink. Delicious. Did you have it when you were in Brazil? I did, yeah, the time when I couldn't have any more beer, you know, which wasn't very often. <laughs> Our main meals have arrived, and oh my word, they look absolutely amazing. It's called Espetada Mista. <laughs> and look at the roast vegetables, the roast um, zucchini and carrots, got chips. And we've got rice, and we've got manioc, I think, and salad, and of course, feijoada. Feijoada. Feijoada, sorry, feijoada. So happy. This just, I mean, look at the size of it. Can you see? It's delicious. Eight euros well spent. Very well spent. And there's still coffee to come as well. I love this place. I just really had to show you, like, a close up again of the skewers. <laughs> Turn the camera on. <laughs> it won't be pretty. <laughs> Lee's just trying the, mm, the chorizo. It's like charred, so <laughs> so flavour. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I like the, uh, the grilled vegetables as well. They're really yeah. good. Yeah, there's some sort of flavour on the carrots mm. and the zucchini. Makes me feel all healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Just chili, pretty hardcore this stuff. Look at that. Enter if you dare. <laughs> wow. I'm just so pleased we came back today. So I'm not too sure what I do with this. Lee's gone into the rolled manioc flour. Yeah, it just kind of sticks to the fatty things and it's a bit bland on its own. As you can see, there are. Pretty empty. Anything <laughs> <laughs> no, we smashed it and then it was good. I would come up with that in a flash. Brilliant. And now, cappuccino time. Cheers. And just to finish off, we've got a little cachaça brasileiro with ananas, pineapple. It's really nice, refreshing. Oh. Mandy? Okay. You get to try. Okay. So. Saúde. Sa saúde. Sa Sa saúde. Saúde. It's delicious, and if you look at it, it's pineapple. Camera this way, Lee. Mm -hmm. Pineapple soaking. Yeah, in, in cachaça. So. so today's the last day that Lee and I are going to be together in Nazaré. Really sad. We're going to have to say goodbye because I'm going down to PDR to do some house sitting down there. Yep. These house sits overlap, so Mandy's got commitments here and then up at the Kinta. Yeah, we'll be back with the Kinta with chickens and dogs and cats. Can't wait. So five weeks apart, which will be a bit sad, but then it'll be time in PDR and we'll have more beach time afterwards. Fantastic. So until then, goodbye from the beautiful beaches of Nazare. Goodbye, Nazare. We'll miss you. So miss Nazare. We could sit here up there, these lovely places, and goodbye to my darling. Mm. Tee -hee, cheesy enough? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>